Welcome back to Mavs Insider. I love Mavs history. I love sitting next to a guy whose jersey is in those rafters right up there as I broadcast the games with Followell and, yes, Derek Harper. And you know who knows Harp inside out? His old backcourt mate, Rolando Blackman. And he's got the goods on a classic story. Hey, Mavs fans, this is Rolando Blackman, and I've got a story to tell you. Derek Harper, a person that really changed the backcourt and really gave us a chance to be one of the best teams in all of basketball throughout the times that we played in the 80s. Each and every time you take a look at Derek, you see a fierce competitor, one of the best defensive players in the game when he played the game. I had to go up against him in practice, and that was no fun whatsoever. Each and every day was a battle, a battle to get the ball up the court, a battle to get shots off. That's what made the game so easy for me because I had to go up against Derek Harper, which was very, very difficult. Derek is a guy that's a total fighter when you talk about it. His attitude, he's coming at you, and he's coming at you with ferocity. And the important fact is that he had the talent to being able to be one of the best because he grew each and every year. This guy was scoring average, was going up. He was getting better defensively. He was leading our team and was able to be a stopper on the other side. No one could stop him. They had to run around and really try to get in front of him because he was a blur. But when you saw Derek, you saw an inspiration. You look, look at him and you saw the ferocity in which he played the game with. Each and every time you get into a basketball game, you always knew that when you look left and look right and Derek was either way, you'd understand that this guy was ready to compete which was a fantastic uplifter to being able to do that. On the basketball court, Derek was a fantastic guy and also one of the best dressed guys you see when you're walking up also too. We got our styles from Derek. I always was wondering about every time you put on a cologne and you see him come by the locker room, I'd be, I'd be at the store the next day buying some Derek Harper cologne also too. When you talk about a guy that uh, was leading was, was doing his own thing within the core group of the basketball. Ferocity on the court, total respect, one of the top defensive players to play the game. You see it when you look up there at number 12 and understand that Derek was a guy that played the game very, very well, understood exactly what to do on the court, and that's exactly why we were able to be such a great basketball team as time went on, because of the guys like Derek Harper being able to put the ball in the hole, pass the basketball to who needed it, and was able to defend anyone in basketball. Man, I could hear Roe talk about Harp all day long. Heck, I could hear Roe talk about all kinds of things. I could hear Roe talk about basketball camp. You know, the Mavericks have a good one. Let's take a look at hoop camp. You know, in the game of basketball is a lot of fun for those who enjoy playing it, but the fundamentals are extremely important. Stay down through your moves. Stay down through your moves. There you go. Slide over right here. And this is a chance, especially with our one days, we get kids as young as four years old that come out. And it's kind of an introduction to what we do year round. You got to just pass and cut, all right? So when you pass the ball, don't stay stagnant. When you pass, don't just look for it back. Pass and then cut. So it's a chance for them to learn about shooting, passing, dribbling, screening, all of the fundamentals in basketball that make it much more fun when you get older. You're screening him, feet apart, bend your knees like a defender. And you're going to come on three, you're going to come around this way. Got it? Our coaches range. They come from all different walks of life. The one thing we have in common is everybody loves basketball, and we all love kids. Pull it with you. Good. Pull it with you. Oh, here I come. <laughs> Teachers were all off today, so rather than sitting at home, uh, why not come out here and do something that we all like, playing basketball? Hey, good bucket, good bucket. Good bucket. Get back on defense, what? You know, the kids had a great time. We're only here for four hours, but we get a lot in in those four hours, so it was awesome to be out here today. Pass it, move. Pass it, pass it. Woo! So this is my fourth season doing it. I actually did it when I was growing up, so kind of come full circle a little bit, but it's, it's a blast. We get to brag on our players, and we get to brag on our organization. For the kids to have exposure to some of the top-notch players in the NBA to come out, see them, have fun with them, teach them, play knockout with them, I mean, it's like no other, and not only for the kids, but for our coaches also. All right, let's go. Man, we've got gaming camps, we've got dance camps, we've got development camps. So whatever you are involved in, we've got something special for you. We have a huge summer. We're celebrating our 30th anniversary. So if there's a summer that you wanted to be a part of Mavs Academy Hoop Camps, this is the one you definitely want to be at.
Get your kids signed up for Hoop Camp. It makes a difference. I loved it growing up. All right, that's going to do it for this Mavs Insider. Hopefully next time we see you, playoff position is all socked away. Until next time, go Mavs.